Today we are here to know about Guru principle. What does a Guru do? Whatever you have, all the precious things within you, He discovers them for your knowledge. Actually, it is all there, everything, all the knowledge, all the spirituality, all the joy is there, like time. It's all contained within you. Only thing the Guru does makes you knowledgeable about your knowledge, about your own spirit. Everyone has the spirit within himself. Everyone has the spirituality within himself. There is nothing that you get from outside, but before getting this knowledge you are dealing or you are living in ignorance. In that ignorance you do not know what treasure you have got within yourself. So the Guru's job is to make you know what you are. That's essential, that you should know yourself. But when you know yourself, you know partly. The experience is not sufficient. The knowledge has to come and the Guru gives the knowledge about yourself. Now you have to tally it. You should find out whatever your Guru has told you. Is it true or not? Is it correct or not? When we talk about realization, one has to know, first of all, that we have to have patience with ourselves. I know some people don't feel so good, some people still have sicknesses, some people don't even feel vibration sometimes. Have patience with yourself. When you become your own guru, first thing, as the guru has patience with his or her disciple, you must have patience with yourself. In that patience you will learn that you can tolerate so many things without any trouble. Let's say one person who goes on grudging, oh, this is not good, that is not good. Because they have no patience with themselves. If you have patience with yourself, everything you'll accept. Wherever you are, you are with yourself because you are realized souls. So you won't frustrate, you will not get angry. And also you will not go on grumbling and grudging because you are enjoying yourself. So for such people 
who have imaginary miseries of the past which do not exist in reality, they cannot have the joy of reality, they cannot. So for a Sahaja Yogi it's important that he should have joy. within his heart. It's like an ocean. It's like an ocean which is there all the time to give you such thrills. Even little drops of this ocean when they trickle down in your being. It is so soothing. The experience can be only experienced. It's all waiting <coughs> within yourself. So as Sahaja Yogis and as Gurus <coughs> we have to love ourselves and understand our own value. I think Sahaja Yogis have not yet understood their value. How many people in this world can give Realization? How many know about Kundalini? So this is what is to remember that you are a Sahaja Yogi. Take a bandhan. Morning and evening. It's so simple. Even to say on the mic, it seems stupid to me. But I have to say because people forget. You forget that you are realizers. Use your vibratory awareness for at least protecting yourself. Because there is negativity sitting next door. So be very careful about this, to remember that I am a Sahaja Once you say that, you will know how you have to behave, what is the protocol, you will know what is the discipline you have to follow, you will know how to love others, everything. This is the essence. That will give you complete confidence in yourself and you will be absolutely secure. Try to establish the state that you are Sahaja Yogis. Thus you become gurus of yourself and of others. I hope you will understand as a guru what you have to do. As a guru there are so many things and as your character, yesterday as they showed how Lao Tse has written about the masters, how they were above all it, above turmoil, above jealousies, above talking loose. They are so great. They are the masters and they will be the masters and you will be the gurus if you try to do that. This is what you have to achieve. I know some have achieved it, but most of you have to achieve with compassion and love. May God bless you.